Okay, how to stream or record live guitar with Reaper and OBS. You're going to go to reaper.fm slash replugs and download replugs. Then close Reaper and reopen it to make sure it installs, or hit Control p to go to Preferences, go to VST, and go to Rescan VST Paths for newer modified plugins. Now, on the master track in Reaper, click Effects and navigate to Restream Replugs Edition. Select it and click Add. Then we're going to go to Send Audio slash MIDI, go to the drop-down menu, and select Local Broadcast. And now you can close this window. Then go to GitHub and download the ASIO Input Capture plugin for OBS. I've provided a link in the description box. On the right, you'll see Releases. Click on the latest release. Then scroll down to Assets and click the topmost file, which ends with x64installer.exe. The x86 version is for older processors using a 32-bit system. Locate the exe file and double-click it to run. This will add the ASIO input capture option to OBS. Then we're going to open OBS, and under Sources, click Add Source, ASIO Input Capture, and I'm just going to call this Live Guitar YouTube Tutorial, and click OK. For device, I'm going to select Focusrite USB ASIO, because that's my interface. I'm using a Scarlett 2i2, so my guitar is plugged into the second input. So I'm going to select input 2 and leave input 1 muted and click OK. Now on that source we just made, you're going to right click and select filters. Then you're going to click the plus sign here and select VST 2.x plugin. Click OK. Then you're going to go to Select a Plugin and navigate down to Restream Standalone. Then go to Open Plugin Interface and just make sure it's set to Receive Audio slash MIDI. You can close that out and close this out. Now you can come back into Reaper, set up your guitar track however you normally have it with whatever effects you have, arm it to record, and... Now there's one more step if you want to record the audio that OBS is picking up in Reaper as well. I'm going to do the whole thing from scratch, so follow along. Go to Options, Themes, Theme Adjuster slash Color Controls, and you're going to navigate over to the Track Control Panel. If routing is hidden anywhere, you're going to uncheck Hide to make sure that routing shows. Hit Control alt m to display the master track. Go to Effects, add Restream, Replugs Edition, send audio as local broadcast, close it. Now hit Control t and T again to make two separate tracks. The first track I'm going to label DI Guitar. The second track I'm going to label Live Guitar. My guitar is plugged into input 2 on my interface, so on DI Guitar, I'm going to select input 2. On Live Guitar, I'm going to select input none. And then I'm going to go over to in and select record output. And go to record output stereo. And then I'm going to make sure that record monitoring is turned to off. On DI Guitar, I'm going to right click effects, go to FX Chains, and add my usual effects chain. And make sure record monitoring is set to on. Now here's the key to the whole thing. On DI Guitar, I'm going to click Route, and then go to Add New Send, and select Live Guitar. Close the window, arm both tracks to record, hit Control R, and you're ready to go. So if I mute DI Guitar, and we hear only live guitar, you can hear it's exactly the same audio that OBS would be picking up.
There's no effects or anything. It just recorded the output in real time of the DI guitar track. So I'll show you by deleting this track. I'm going to disarm DI guitar from recording and leave live guitar armed for recording. And I'm going to unmute DI guitar and I'm going to press control R to record. Now watch this. So now we go to mute and we go to play back on live guitar. So again, just like OBS would be picking this up in real time, this live guitar track is recording the real time manipulation of the effects on the DI guitar track. So similarly, if I delete this again, unmute that. Now I can bring this up and take in, let's say, a wah pedal. And I'm going to manipulate this in real time. So DI guitar is disarmed, not recording. And live guitar is armed to record. Now I'm going to hit Control R to record. And then again, I'll mute DI guitar so you'll only hear live guitar on playback. So you can hear that it recorded, again, the real-time manipulation of the effects on the DI guitar track. So, for getting OBS and video recording, you can just use this as a perfect excuse to not leave your home, go on dates, hang out with friends, because why would you ever want to do any of those things when you can just sit here and do this all day? And then I can just mute this and play this back. And then I can just listen to this an infinite amount of times, knowing that my beautiful creation has been immortalized. Forever. Anyway, jokes aside, that is how you record your guitar and your manipulation of your guitar effects in real time. So, do with that information what you will. Now, of course, the meta level here is that I am recording this entire video with OBS. So I followed the exact steps I was laying out to you in the beginning of the video, and I used it to pre-record this video. So the only difference is that instead of hitting Start Streaming, I just hit Start Recording. And then I'm going to load it into Shotcut and edit that to make the video that you're watching right now. You'll see OBS recording itself. It's like reflecting a mirror at a mirror. It just creates this uh, infinite fractal. It just goes on forever. That actually goes on forever. So think about that. Just don't think about it too much. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope this can help you on your own creative journey. And I'll tell you from experience, making videos with this method and a webcam is so much easier than using a DSLR camera and all the different lenses and all that. Actually, it's not. It's not. It's 3.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm still going to be working on this for a while. It's not. It's really not. But it's fun. It's still fun. It's another kind of fun, and you should have fun in many different ways. Confucius said that, I think. So I'm going to cut this now and get back to working and playing on guitars and making some videos as usual. Mm -hmm.